That's concrete, right? Like yeah, three, yeah, this is concrete, yeah. We have all what we need for uh, this project, for yeah. like this project. <laughs> Hello people, Jero here, and today I have a very special guest, Yasin, from Al Algeria. Yeah, yeah, from Algeria, engineer from Algeria. So you've been in construction for four years? Yeah. And uh, you took a flight 15 hours to reach China? Exactly, just to be here with you. Absolutely. I doubt it was my personal charm that attracted him here, but rather the construction we are visiting together. Hello! We were created by a local engineer named Tang Yuxin, you well. and this is the site for the new National Exhibition and Convention Center in uh, Beijing. The project uh, is now the largest uh, uh, ongoing construction project in Chinese uh, computer. Upon its completion in 2024, it will be the largest such venue in Beijing. Think about that. And um, this place is yeah over 600,000 square meters. Like back in Algeria, are there similar yeah. construction size or larger venues like this? As you know, in Algeria we established uh, the, the, the more project like a stadium, like a hospital, like a Mediterranean village. But for me personally, it's the first time that I visit a big project like this. Wow. Yeah. It's my first time as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Into a conversion center. Yeah. Ongoing construction. Yeah. So this is where we are right now. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's the main entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. The venue will be home to one conference hall, one hotel complex, and a nine exhibition halls. 对，然后最高高度就是咱们所在的这个，就是四十米的层高。因为我们附近有机场，它不有限高要求，所以说它这个设计就只是在四十米以内。On the way there, Yasin shared a little fact: Chinese construction companies are highly active in Algeria, including their involvement in building venues for the 19th Mediterranean Games. Mediterranean Village. It was for the Games of 2022. Uh, Algerian Games, it was in my city, in Oran. Also, yes. Yasin also told me that Chinese firms have constructed the country's longest tunnel and bridge, as well as universities and hospitals. This is the main venue for the construction center. If we look up, the steel structure supporting the second floor has a span of 54 meters. The structure weighs over a thousand tons. Utilizing artificial intelligence, the construction team was able to jack it up in just one day, reducing labor costs by 50%. Coming back to all the technologies being used in today's construction, and during your trip, what are some of the technologies that you found that can be beneficial back in Algeria? Yeah, so for me, I'm, uh, it's, uh, you know, as you know, it's me the first time here in uh, China. So I discovered like this uh, project. We have the mixed project between uh, steel and uh, concrete. Yes. It's very important for us. Also the Xi'an'an project where uh, the treatment uh, facility uh, is very important. We, and it's this project, it's environment friendship. Yes. So we hope uh, in the future that we can transmit this new technology and the new technique to our country in Algeria and uh, making uh, and doing uh, good for our people. Yasin will stay in China for about two weeks. He loves Chinese food and has been amazed by the high-speed trains. However, what's even more important to him is the opportunity to meet Chinese engineers and the visit construction sites, fostering the exchange of ideas and sparking new innovations.